Hi everyone, my name is Sanjeev. In this video, I'm going to show you how to retrieve the data from Salesforce using Salesforce Connector. I will switch to AnyPoint Studio. I will create a new Mule project. File, new Mule project. I will give the name query data from Salesforce. Click finish. I will drag HTTP listener. I will add connector configuration. I will keep these configuration values to default. I will give the path slash query. Now I need a variable component. Set variable. I will give the name name value attributes dot query param dot name so i will keep the query param name in the variable name now i will drag the salesforce query method i will add the salesforce connector add module salesforce drag it here I will keep the version 10.13.3, click add. If you don't find Salesforce connector in your palette, then you might need to add from the exchange. I have created a separate video, how to add module from exchange. You can watch that video. I will provide the link in description. Now I will drag the query method to the flow. Here it is. I will drag it inside flow. Now I will add the connector configuration. I will click plus sign. To connect to the Salesforce, we need to choose a authentication option. So these are the authentication options. For this demo, I will use basic authentication to connect to the Salesforce. Basic authentication requires username, password and security token. To get the username, password and security token, we need to create a developer account in Salesforce. We can go to this URL and we can create a developer account. I have already created a developer account and I already got the username, password and security token. I will use this username, password and security token for basic authentication. I will copy the username and paste it here. Now I'll copy the security token. Paste it here. Now I will enter my password. I'll click OK. Here we can write the Salesforce query. So I will collect the data from the account object. So select ID, name, account number. Billing address, annual revenue from account where name is equal to name I will provide the value for the parameter 
name and value i will provide the variable that we have created so we created wars dot name we created the name variable so i will provide the wars dot name here as a value now i will add a transform message component here i will convert the format to json and i will write a script payload map first i want to print uh, id so id dollar id then i want to print account number dollar account number name dollar name billing address dollar dot billing address then at the end i need annual revenue dollar dot annual revenue let me check the query one time do you have all the columns so we have all the columns here billing address as well and we have billing address as well here i will save the project i will right click and run the project now this project will be deployed inside embedded runtime in any point of studio while this is getting deployed let me log into the salesforce i will enter my username and password click login i will go to service click account change the list view to the this week view so we have this record tom baller so we'll retrieve this record i'll copy the tom baller from here let me go to the console so our application has been deployed let me clear the console i will go to the browser open the new tab here now i will invoke the resource local host okay i will copy the name we already have tom baller so it's same now i will click enter okay we got the data we have id account number name billing address delhi new delhi annual revenue 55000 name tom baller so that's what we are having here to one day tom baller delhi new delhi india and 55000 as annual revenue now let me retrieve the another account todd baller 
go back to another tab so i will say todd baller click enter okay we got the account number 100 name todd baller the rest of the fields are same here also same we have a Todd Waller and account number 100. Rest of the fields are same. Let's try one more account. Test four. Click enter. Okay, we got the ID, we got the account number, name, billing address, revenue. Annual revenue. So we don't have the number, don't have billing address, we have phone number, we don't have any annual revenue also. So that's what we got here as a result. So to retrieve the data from Salesforce, you can use the query method of the Salesforce connector and we can write the query here. We can retrieve any Salesforce object records. This is all in this video. I hope you understood how to retrieve the data from the Salesforce object. If you like this video, click the like button and subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.